Hello everyone and welcome back to Cooking at Home. My name is Josh and today we're going to be making some awesome fried mahi-mahi tacos. We're going to fry up and make our own shells, fry some mahi-mahi, we're going to make a chili aioli. Well, we're going to be utilizing this chili oil, okay? So we're going to turn it into an aioli, we're going to turn it into a slaw mix. So stay tuned, it's super good. Now let's go ahead and check it out. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and start making our taco shells. Now this one's actually a little bit challenging for me because I just did it straight with just my spatula and that's it. And I just shaped it into the shape I wanted. So if you're having trouble with the first three to four, maybe even five, don't worry, don't trip, it's totally fine, okay? They're just tortillas, they're cheap. There's nothing special about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start frying the tortillas. Grab some canola and grab yourself a pan. Now fill up half of the pan with oil and we're just going to deep fry these tortillas and we're gonna give it a nice taco shell shape. Now just go ahead and manipulate the tortilla and fry half of it, shaping the other side and rinse and repeat on both sides until you get the right size and the right consistency of your taco shell. If you're like me, you're bound to mess it up a couple times. Again, they're just tortillas. At the end of the day, you're gonna get better and you're just gonna mash this in no time. So don't give up, just keep going. Once you have made as many taco shells as possible, just go ahead and leave them upside down. Just let them drain on paper towels or a drip pan, you know, just to make sure they're not stacked up and they're not just swimming in their own grease. You don't want soggy tacos. You wanna keep them nice and crunchy. Next, we're gonna go ahead and work on our chili aioli, which we're gonna be utilizing our chili oil that we made on our previous video. Now in a bowl, add two cups of mayonnaise. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of garlic, two tablespoons of lemon juice, a pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper. I'm gonna be using six ounces of my chili oil just because it's super good and has a lot of flavor. And it's gonna give that nice orange color and just gonna mix it all together. But there, chili aioli, done. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our dressing for our slaw mix. So I'm gonna be using a slaw mix. Mine's gonna have cabbage, red cabbage, carrots, all that good stuff. Now you don't have to buy a whole head of cabbage, a whole head of radicchio, red cabbage, whatever you wanna call it. You don't have to, just go to the store, get one of, that's a, one of those bags that are already pre-mixed. They're like two, three dollars. And honestly, you save more money that way. You don't need that much, okay? So if you have a party, trust me, just easier, okay? So do that, leave it aside. Now grab a bowl. We're gonna go ahead and mix two tablespoons of white vinegar with one tablespoon of sugar. And if you taste it by itself right now, actually the sweet and sour just tastes so good. Now mix this with one cup of the chili aioli that you made earlier, and that's what we're gonna be using to dress our slaw. Now we're just gonna quickly prep our mahi-mahi. For now, for the fried mahi-mahi, I do want my fish cuts to be longer. I want them to have more body to them. So I'm gonna go and cut them into two ounces or 2.5 ounces, but we're gonna go for two, obviously. Okay, we're gonna cut these long ways into stick kind of shapes. Now we're gonna get ready to start dressing them. Now we need egg wash, so go ahead and whisk two eggs, put in your flour, and make sure that it's all-purpose flour. And the other one, just plain old breadcrumbs that you can season it with salt and pepper, and that's it. Now grab your fish and go from flour to egg wash to breadcrumbs. Rinse and repeat on all of your cuts until all your flakes are nicely covered. And what I like to do personally at the very end is that I pour in the leftover breadcrumbs I got and I gently press them just because sometimes the, the breadcrumbs tend to come out or start to get a little too wet. So I found this to be a really cool method. Now once your fish is nicely covered, we're gonna go ahead and start frying them. So grab a pot, fill it with some oil, heat it up to around 135 degrees Fahrenheit, and just throw them in there one at a time just to get the feel for the oil. Now fry your fish until it's nice and golden brown. It takes around two minutes, two and a half minutes maximum. They cook super quickly. You know, they're only two and a half ounces, so they're not that big. Now we're gonna go ahead and just saute our lobster because yes, we are going to add lobster to our mahi-mahi tacos, okay? It's gonna have a nice little extra bite, which I really enjoy. We're gonna garnish it with some radish. And now when it comes to cooking your lobster, it's super, super simple. I'm just going to cut the tail, break the ribs, have it sit on its own shell, and I'm going to sear it on one side and just kind of let it steam and let, the, let it cook on its shell by itself. And you know, we don't want to overcook this. Now you don't have to cook it on the shell, but I'm gonna use it as garnish, so I will. And I think it just cooks a little cooler. Baste it, hit it with a little bit of lemon juice, and boom. Now it's time to build. So grab your taco shell, drizzle a little bit of chili aioli at the bottom, place your cabbage, 
your fish, garnish with your radish, drizzle a little bit more aioli on top. Now just rough chop your lobster, throw it right in the center of each taco. It gets a nice little bite, which I really enjoyed. And place your lobster bites right on top. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you make these tacos. I hope that you enjoy them. And just let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you think about the video. Just hit me with a couple comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.